हेलो एवरीवन फिर से एक नई वीडियो के साथ मैं हूं आपका होस्ट फारूक मसी और अपने चैनल द जर्नी सीकर पे आप सबको खुश आमदीद कहता हूं दोस्तों हर बार की तरह मैंने कोशिश की है कि एक नया कंटेंट लाया जाए और इस बार ये वीडियो बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग होने वाली है क्योंकि मैंने अपने एक कुलीग को अप्रोच किया है जो कि नीदरलैंड से है हम लोगों ने साथ में काम किया है माल्टा में दोनों एक हेल्थ फैसिलिटी में काम करते थे और कुछ अरसे से क्योंकि वो एक सर्टन आवर्स के लिए माल्टा में आई हुई थी वॉलेंटियर एज आ काम कर रही थी इंटर्नशिप के उनके आवर्स थे और वो खत्म करने के बाद उनको जाना पड़ी जी मैं काफी अरसे से उनसे इन टच में था कि क्यों ना एक कोलैबोरेटिव वीडियो बनाई जाए जिसके जरिए हम लोग जो है एक नॉलेज का मैसेज जो है वो ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों तक पहुंचा जाए और उनका भी यही प्रोग्राम था क्योंकि मेरा प्लेटफॉर्म जो है वो अब वर्ल्ड वाइड देखा जाता है काफ़ी सारे लोग हैं जो इंटरेस्टेड रहते हैं अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ की तलाश में रहते हैं और सॉरी टू से गाइस आज का कंटेंट जो है वो इंग्लिश में होगा और मेरी नेटिव लैंग्वेज नहीं है मैं कोशिश करूँगा कि किसी तरीके से आज चला जाए हेलो शेरन हाउ इज गोइंग ऑन एंड थैंक यू फॉर बींग ऑन माई शो एंड सम हाउ इन योर बिजी स्केजुल You have managed to take some time for my viewers, and the journey is very simple. You are also for the same cause that somehow we have to help to the newcomers, to the new immigrants, to approach the right opportunities. So, what's going on in your life? Hi, Farooq. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, I'm doing all right. Um, I hope you're doing all right too. Not much is going on in my life currently. I'm just focusing on studies. So, Sharon, the concept of the video is super simple. We are here. to uh to ask you some questions about the netherlands and in this video we are going to explore some opportunities like how a newcomer can approach those opportunities and what are the right decisions they can make for their better future so let's start the video so sharon my first question is about work and life balance in netherlands i would say work life balance is really important here like people really like their free time like we we live Uh, we work to live we don't live to work um i notice that a lot of uh, people who come here are uh, confused with that they're they just want to really do their best and work a lot and that's great but we also like we really like taking time off and enjoying our free time so um i also heard or read that we are like the the king of part time work um yeah so that's something i would say might be a bit shocking for people who first come here uh to see how much we <laughs> enjoy just relaxing and and it's not like we were like lazy or something no we do actually do our work uh when we are at work we're very efficient at work i i mean if i would just speak for myself and the people i know in my surroundings yeah we work to li- live we work to live yes So Sharon my next question is about the language you think a newcomer or a foreigner can easily survive on English language or they really need some some basic skills of Dutch as well I would say no I don't think you need basic Dutch skills because in the majority of uh, the bigger cities there's plenty of work uh, work opportunities for you if you don't speak the language however um people do really appreciate it if you speak a few words of dutch and i do also think it matters like the region you are in and uh also your background is uh, something else like um i noticed something with my husband because uh, he also came here tried to find a job he applied for like more oh, more than 100 jobs at least and he never really got hired uh and they kept telling him hey you don't speak dutch it's a problem because we live we live in like a village and it's like more of an excluded area where we're not close to the bigger cities so he did get some job offers there but it's just too far away for us when we asked some re- ukrainian refugees that are also here in the netherlands uh they got a job very easily so when my husband tried to apply for a job he was told hey you don't speak dutch so it's a bit of a problem but when the ukrainian refugees we spoke to applied for the same job and they also don't speak a word of dutch they were actually accepted so it's i don't know why we don't know why it's a bit strange but um i do think that in the north especially or in the uh, 
provinces like uh, Friesland or especially in the south as well, um, people might not be used to immigrants as much. Um, especially like the the less they look like us, the more we're like, hmm, which also has to do with ra uh, racism and stereotyping, I think. But I guess it's just like fear of the unknown. People just don't know any better. Um, so they might be a bit hesitant to hire you. Um, but overall, it shouldn't be a problem. Everyone speaks the language, especially if you want uh, a job in Amsterdam or in Rotterdam or uh, Groningen even. Uh, Utrecht, it shouldn't be a problem. So Sharon, my next question is about culture. You think, uh, what is the culture is all about? How the people of uh, from Netherlands, they think about the people are coming from all over the world, especially because my majority audience is from India and Pakistan. You mean the South Asia. So people of brown skin, what the Dutch people think about them? That's an interesting question. I think um, it, it really depends. Like I, I can't generalize for everyone. I think usually the older generation that doesn't really like like the elderly and that don't really um, know much like the ones that are live more secluded in villages they might have a bit of difficulty um, trying to adapt because everyone like has a mentality of like everyone who comes here they should adapt to us you know um, so I, I don't know why but um, they they really have this mindset of uh, you should adapt to us and, and they really don't know much about other cultures but overall the younger uh, population and the students and I think also like 30 40 year old it shouldn't be a problem especially when they live in the, the cities because there's a lot of mixed culture already especially Amsterdam when I go to Amsterdam it doesn't feel like the Netherlands anymore so um, I think we are quite used to a multicultural society um, but as far as I know, like, um, I have also met some, uh, like brown skin, uh, people like, uh, Indians as well. And, uh, someone from Pakistan and their experience was actually not that bad. They said mainly at first the Dutch might be a bit uh, like hmm, I don't know but when once you get to know people it's really it's it's much easier to connect with them I think at least that's what they told me so I trust them yes Sharon my next question is about cost of living in Netherlands I know it depends city to city it varies where which part of the city you are living but any general idea how an individual can survive over there or a person or a couple can have a single bedroom apartment how it's all about please yes it's true it, it really depends on the city like a friend of mine is actually renting in uh, Rotterdam and the majority of uh, housing or apartments I think they range like they're like around 700 800 um, a month I don't really remember like how many square meters you get for that but I think these are just like simple apartments it is uh, I, at least my friends had a difficult time finding anything that's like more like 400 or 500 um, euros a month um and it it really depends because if when you want to live in a bigger city it's going to be more expensive and it's also very difficult to get an apartment because currently there's a housing crisis um yeah i at least when you hear the news and people's experience around you you are put on a waiting list and at least for us it can take some people keep living with their parents for like 10 years and they can't find a place so it's a very competitive market um, especially because um, a lot of uh, I don't know rich individuals they just buy all of the houses and then they rent them and uh, the Dutch usually believe that it's like an immig immigration problem like it's all oh, the immigrants they come here and they take all the houses but actually something interesting is it's more like the, the government really wanted um, 
immigration, but mainly from like people who get scholarships, like from America. And what they also do is they offer the uh, the apartments for um, like a lower price for them. At least that's something I um, read as well. Um, so usually, or also friends' experiences, they they are being outbid by uh, someone who came here uh, to study on a scholarship because, yeah. <laughs> but I do think it's feasible to get an apartment if you like don't waste money. I think a lot of Dutch people they are not very good with money they uh they don't save up like we do have like the student loans and everything um so a lot of us are in debt i am not in debt luckily because i really am blessed with my parents they they really help me out a lot but if you don't have that then you need to lend money if you want to study and of course you can make more like better financial decisions like not go out and have fun and do those things but it takes some discipline. It's hard to be a bit more reserved and really think about uh, the money. Um, when you want to buy a house, um, at least for the houses in the village around me, they are more like, um, it can range up from like 200,000 euros to like, I don't know. I've, se I've seen the majority been like 300,000, 400,000, something like that. It's, um, you you need to save up a lot of money for that, but yeah, but if you go for the the rent in my area, which is Groningen, it would be um like the villages here would be more like six hundred five hundred four hundred euros a month, so yeah, those are the costs of living for the house at least uh there is another question it's about salary at least how much a single person has to earn to survive in Netherlands? Hmm. I think you would spend between 50 euros and 70 euros on groceries a week per person. Um, and then of course it really depends on how expensive your apartment is and what else you want to do next to like working and living. But if you would say just the cost of living and uh, like, like let's say your apartment is like 500 euros and like between 50 and 70 for food and let's say you still want to do something fun like maybe you have like 20 euros a week um i would say like around 600 euros 700 euros i think you would it it, it would do yeah Sharon, my next question is about weather in Netherlands. I know most of uh, people coming from South Asia or from Africa, we have a like maximum sunny days, but Europe has a different weather. Could you please explain my viewers like what kind of weather is it and uh, what are the things they have to bring while coming to Netherlands? <laughs> um. I think you remember when I told you about the Netherlands for the first time, the first thing I complained about was the weather, so there you go. Um, I mean, definitely bring an umbrella. It's it was it's actually quite of a shock because my, my husband is from North Africa and they also like I went there like 48 degrees in summer and I was dying, okay, like it was Yeah, so when when he came here for the first time and he saw the weather here it's it was a shock honestly like now he's used to it but it's usually like i think in winter like uh, two years ago the lowest temperature it was like was minus 20 but usually i would say in winter it would be like on average uh, the, the lowest point would be like minus eight minus six uh, degrees celsius by the way um and i would say like most of the time it's uh like autumn winter like two degrees three degrees and five degrees six degrees um the more like 10 degrees and usually like spring and autumn it would be like between 10 degrees and like 15 for a long time then it gets a bit warmer and overall it doesn't really get much hotter than uh 25 
like it would range between 20 and 25 degrees usually um, in spring. And then in summer, like it can get warmer than that, like it can get hot, but we would usually have like one or two heat waves that uh, reach above 30 with max 35 and that's it. Like, but even in summer, it can, it can always rain. There's like rain throughout the whole year. There are drier periods, like of course in summer you're gonna have better weather and in spring as well, but the weather can be quite random like even yesterday it would just be sunny then the next moment it's raining and all of a sudden it's uh it's sunny again and then it's raining again like in in the same 10 minutes it's it's beautiful it's uh dutch weather people complain about it a lot um i would also suggest a raincoat or at least a raincoat that's like warm inside with some some i don't know um, like a warm raincoat, that's uh, my, my go-to uh, wear for outside. And layers, I really uh, suggest layers because um, one day it can be very cold and the next day it can suddenly feel really warm. So um, like when you're used to the weather of course, because when you come from a warm climate everything feels cold, but after you get used to it you start to really appreciate the sun. Um, the moment it is sunny, people just sit down on the terrace and they're like, ah, oh, finally, <laughs> some sun. So we really start to appreciate uh, when we do get some sunny days. And um, yeah, I also say that without the rain, we wouldn't have this much greenery. We have beautiful nature, beautiful landscapes, lots of trees, lots of fields, tulips, of course. So the rain is necessary to keep this landscape this pretty and i can also show you right now the weather i have here which is cloudy dark sometimes it's raining but yeah that's just what we get yes sharon my next question is about jobs in demand uh, this question is for the students, those who are really interested for the hot jobs, or even this question is for the work permits, those who are coming as a high tech or coming as a paramedical staff. I would say there are lots of job opportunities. Like there's a lot of vacancies. There's, um, especially in the bigger cities, um, the majority of jobs are like uh, the, the low, lower paid ones, like the, just like the the supermarket jobs or the um uh, like in a restaurant like as a waiter or like jobs like that or uh, just uh clothing stores or stuff like that um they do prefer hiring younger people so when my husband was looking for a job he had the same problem he um a, lo a lot of these places would tell him oh uh you're too old like not all of them said that of course but one of them was straight up like hey we want to hire 15 year olds they're cheaper because in the netherlands uh of course there's, there's different wages for like uh 15 16 17 18 um you i think you get paid like an adult starting from 21 um yeah and of course companies prefer that they don't always want to put it out there but if you are a bit younger you have better chances of getting a job also the more available you are the better your chances are of getting a job um for medical field and it and all of these things i do think that it's they really need stuff especially in healthcare they need a lot of people um we have a lot of elderly and they need taken care of and um, there's not enough people interested in these types of jobs. I would say that you can't just get a job just like that. You do need uh, certain certificates or qualifications or diplomas and they need to be um, compatible. Like when you come from um, outside of Europe, basically, um, they're a bit more strict. Like I personally really don't like it because if you can do the job and you have the certificate or the the proof that you can do that that you need or you studied for it i think you should be able to get that job but here they're just like oh well 
your diploma there doesn't count the same as here because it's different so you will need to do like additional studying or getting another paper for that and it's it just makes it uh, a bit I think it's a bit unnecessary like when you need this many uh, people in this field then it should be made as easy as possible to get those people of course it should still you should still be able to do the job the way uh, it's meant to be done but yeah I think they could improve a bit in that so don't think that oh like also a friend of ours is actually is an engineer but since he didn't have the the right diploma here he's now just working in a restaurant because he can't do anything like he would need to do a Dutch high school like a quick get the diploma for Dutch high school which is like different levels like uh, we have HAVO, FABIO, um, uh, MBO <laughs> yeah our system is divided so based on I guess your intelligence or how well you do the test you are put in one of the categories and based on that you get a diploma and then after that you can study for uh, university to do a master's or a bachelor um, but sometimes you need to redo that. Like when you come here, it doesn't matter what you did before, you need to redo that whole process. Same with another friend of mine, she had to do uh, get a high school diploma before she could study in, uh, um, in university. So I would say keep that in mind. In my last question, I personally ask you, could you please suggest some tricks and tips to my viewers like what they have to keep in, in, in their mind before immigrating to Netherlands because I know it's a different culture, it's a different weather, everything is different. So what are the things they have to consider before coming to Netherlands? I would say, are you sure? Okay, it's not like I hate my country. I, I, I have a love-hate relationship with the Netherlands, but the weather it's pretty cold and rainy um think uh think about cycling as well like you need a bike that's something you definitely need because we cycle everywhere um everything is very nearby so it's also doable it's, it's not really a problem you need to love cycling because and especially cycling in the weather <laughs> it's going to be uh, a bit getting used to but most people that i know that moved here they actually love cycling it's us who who were born and raised here who don't like it as much just because <laughs> we do it every day but um yeah um let me think yeah like i said are you sure because i do think we have a very individualistic culture um what i really missed uh because I've, I've I've also been traveling a lot. Like I, what I noticed in in other more collectivistic countries is that they're more welcoming, more warming. It's easier to make friends here. You really need to uh, do your best. You need to um, almost be extroverted to make friends. I feel like, especially when you're a newcomer. But if like if that comes naturally to you, because I do notice that. If you already have that from a different culture where it's easier for you to approach people because you're used to that, um, you will not have a hard time making friends. Um, but this is not really normal for the Dutch for some reason, because when you approach them, they're like, you're talking to me? Like, do, what, do you need something? Do you want something from me? What are you up to? You know, they're a bit like hesitant because we're so used to um focusing on ourselves i don't know like i always use this example of uh, like i compare it to my husband a lot of course but he um he would uh send uh, a message in a group chat at school and everyone would respond and be like yeah of course i want to help come here like i will help you but if i do that i don't get a response because we're just like mm, let's hope someone else will respond i'm not helping like i'm I don't know, we're not really like that. If you will ask them one by one, they will help you and they will respond. But in a group, everyone's more like, is who's gonna, you? No. Before, they, they, they don't really take the initiative, at least that's my experience. Um, 
What do you need to think about? Hmm. Ask people around you about like the customs because I don't know. Uh, like for every culture, it's different. I I can tell you some things we do, but I don't know if it's different or the same. I would say um, uh, the the food culture is very different. Um, if you don't like potatoes, meat, and vegetables, and that's all bland, no spices, no nothing, <laughs> don't eat with the Dutch family. Um, or your sandwich with cheese, which is just bread and cheese. It's we, we're very bland. We don't really have a food culture. We do fry things. I would say get the stroopwafel fresh from the market. They're the best. Just just ask people around because we do really care about rules. I noticed like uh, when traveling abroad, people are a bit more relaxed with the rules sometimes. Like rules are more like guidelines. They're not really enforced, but we we're very strict. Especially when we um, have an appointment with someone. You can't just show up at someone's door. You don't just come knock and be like, hi, you know. Um, no. Uh, we ask at least a month in advance if, if they're available. We set up an appointment, we schedule a time and you better not be late. Like you have to be there exactly on time or preferably even like 10 to 15 minutes early. So I would say those are um, mistakes or mistakes, not really, just differences that my friends noticed that have gotten them into trouble. Not really trouble, but you notice. Also when you do visit someone, um, we're not, really like like, like rich on food we don't give everyone a lot of food like you have the good cookie jar you take one cookie from it and that's all i don't know why but it's not that we're trying to be rude it's just not in our culture for some reason yeah so those are i would say those are some things to keep in mind that doesn't mean it's true for everyone just i would suggest ask ask the person that you're uh visiting or interacting with thank you very much sharon so for being on my show it was a wonderful time and i hope like in in the future we are going to have a couple of episodes of these kind of videos thank you very much one more time oh no of course thank you um i hope i answered the questions uh well enough um i'm not an expert on these matters i'm just someone living in the netherlands who is dutch so no, I, I hope it helped and I really hope anyone who comes to the Netherlands has a wonderful experience. So, yeah. Ji, dosto, ab wapas se Hindi pe aana padega aur main koshish karunga ki future mein bhi isi tarike se videos aati rahe aur aap logo ke sath hamara integration ka time guzarta rahe. Mazid aisi informative videos ke liye aap mere channel ko please like, subscribe aur share kariye. Thank you very much. Goodbye.